A 58-year-old white woman has been taken into custody four days after fatally shooting her black neighbor, 35-year-old AJ Owens. Owens approached her white neighbor's home, Susan Louise Lorenz, to address a situation that took place early in the day that resulted in the neighbor throwing a pair of skates at AJ's kids. Now, once AJ approached uh, Susan's door to confront her about the ordeal, uh, Susan shot through the door and killed the mother of four with a shot to the chest. What are your thoughts on this tragic story? Funky, I'm going to go to you first. I see you shaking your head. What do you think? You know what? This is really sad. Um, I hate that we're now starting to see these reverberating themes in the media, right? And I've never been a conspiracy theorist. But now I'm starting to figure out, is the conspiracy happening on the media side or is it happening by some other forces? Because now we keep getting these repeat stories of people showing up to people's houses and not making it away, whether it's through the drive through, whether it's an accidental knock on the door or whether it's an intentional knock on the door. Whatever transpired, because I wasn't there and I do not know, whatever exchange of words that have, took place on that lady's porch, I am sure... It did not uh, warrant this woman being shot. Case in point, she was arrested and she's being charged. And, you know, guys, unfortunately, these days, now, if you need to go to somebody's house that you don't know and knock on their porch, please take the police with you or, or better yet, don't send the police because um, now that the media has put this in people's heads, everybody's going to now be trigger happy to shoot somebody off their porch. What's crazy about this story, their neighbors, I'm sure Al's going to get into this, the 911 was called at least six times and the, the black family was being harassed by the white family. That mother had a, the white woman had a history of harassing those kids, throwing stuff, being violent. And 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 the, the black family had complained about her. And it's amazing that she didn't get arrested right away. Right away. Al, what do, you, what do you have on this? What are your thoughts on yeah, this? Yeah, you know, Funky, this, is, this isn't sad. This is bigger than sad. This is, this is horrific. This is despicable and it's disheartening. And let me share with you why, because Billy Woods, the chief of police at Marion County Sheriff's Office, he didn't arrest her after she killed, after this white woman killed somebody. Can you put the picture up of that beautiful black woman, beautiful black mother? Uh, he didn't arrest her because he, he didn't even, he said that she was, she used the stand your ground law. It and doesn't how, apply. This is right, not apply. It doesn't apply. And it wasn't until the neighbors, you know, came forward and start telling the truth about this incident that the sheriff's office then changed their mind and arrested her. I think we need to follow this. We need to follow this situation to the conclusion all the way down to the conviction, because it's very sad to me that she almost would have gotten away with killing this mother. And the super sad part about it is that she took AJ, she took AJ's kids mother from them. She took somebody's sister from them. She took somebody's aunt, somebody's daughter. And that is simply, simply 100% not right. And finally, let's, let's talk about how they never interviewed the neighbors. They never interviewed the kids and the kids witnessed the murder. Mm -hmm. It was something about waiting a little bit, like not doing it the same day, but they did see their mom. They did witness their mom being killed. So that is what's sad about this story. Like there's so much trauma that's gonna happen. And the fact that, the, that AJ had called the police on this family, this white woman, several times. I don't know, man.